Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Gareth here from tastitudes.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate how you can apply a really easy and non-destructive dot or circle pixel effect to your images in Adobe Photoshop. So what exactly is this? Well, this is a really bold and graphic effect that breaks an image up into circle pixels and applies a particular color to each circle to make the image. Now, this is also done in a non-destructive way. By using this technique, you will be able to apply it to any picture without losing your original image. Using this technique, you can simply turn off the effect like so and turn it back on again. Pretty cool, right? Now, before we get started, I'll just show you a few examples here. So this current example is set on black and I'm currently looking at this at 40%. So if I zoom in at 100%, we can see that the circles here are rather large. So nice and clear. If we look at another example, we can see it can also be done on a white background. Looking at another example on this occasion, we can see that the dot pixel effect is much smaller, which allows for a more intricate texture and detail. This last example is like the previous, but here we can see the dots are grouped into squares. So depending on what you want, whether you want a large dot pixel effect or a small dot pixel effect, you can experiment with the size and also the color around the dots. So I'll come back to my first example here. Now check this out. If we look closely in the layers panel, we can see that the top layer here is called place your image here. And this is a smart object. And we know this because we can see the smart object icon placed on the thumbnail. Now, if I double click this, Upon click, we will see a new document tab open at the top here. Now this is the image contained within the smart object in the previous document tab. So here we can see our original image completely unaffected. So for now, I'll just close this tab and I'll do this by pressing the shortcut command W and I am back to my dot pixel effect. Now let's say I like this effect. I want to apply to another image. Let's say this image. Okay, so I'll press Command A to select all, then I'll press Command C to copy. So I'll click back into my dot pixel effect document. I'll double click on the top smart object layer. Again, the smart object content will appear. Now this time I'll press Command V to paste in my new image. Upon pasting, we have a new layer above the original. Now I'll quickly scale this and position in the canvas area to get something I'm happy with. Once happy, I'll press Command W to close and I'll make sure to click Save. Upon click, we will go back to the dot pixel effect document and now we can see the effect is applied to our new image. Pretty cool. So this document here is basically a dot pixel effect template. This has been set up in such a way I do not have to apply the dot pixel effect to new images. I can simply paste in whatever new image I like into the smart object and I'll apply the effect. So if you would like to take a closer look at this template example and the other dot pixel templates I have created, you can download them for free. The link is in the description. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I created my templates so you can have a go yourself. And I'll just close down all my tabs here so I can focus on the new task. Okay, so I'm going to begin by creating a new document. I'll press Command N and I'll create a new document. Now you can create this to whatever size you like, but I recommend creating a nice large canvas area and it must divide by 50. This goes for width, height and resolution. Now you will see why shortly. So first I'll click on the tabs to the right and set this to pixels. I'm going to set my width to 3000, my height to 2000 and my resolution to 300. So all divides easily by 50 here. On this occasion, I'm not creating this for either print or digital. So I'll just leave the color mode set to RGB. Then I'll click OK. So here we have a nice large landscape canvas area. Perfect. So I'll come and double click on the background layer in the layers panel. I'll rename the layer to place your image here and click OK. Then I'll come back into the Layers panel, 
right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Easy. And now we can see the Smart Object icon has been applied to the layer. So next, I'm going to open the image I wish to apply my dot pixel effect to. With it open, I need to get this into my Smart Object layer in the new document. So on this occasion, I'll press Command A to select all and Command C to copy. I'll press Command W to close this image and I'm back to my document. So I'll come over into the Layers panel and double click on the new Smart Object layer. With the new Smart Object tab open, I'll press Command V to paste inside. Now, depending on your image size, you may either have to scale this up or down. So I'll scale and position my image where I'm happy and then press Command W to close and I'll make sure to click Save. Upon click, I am back to my original document. Okay, so now it's time to apply the dot pixel effect. So remember at the start, I insisted that the document size had to divide by 50. Well, now you will find out why. So with the smart object layer selected in the layers panel, I'll come up to filter, scroll down to pixelate and come across and select mosaic. Upon click, up will pop the effect window. Now for the cell size, I'm going to type in 50 and click OK. So upon click, we have applied the mosaic filter. Now this will break up the image into square pixels defined by the cell size we just entered. So each square in the canvas is now 50 by 50 pixels. So if we zoom in here, we can see that the squares also fit the canvas area perfectly. Nice. Now if we look closely in the layers panel, we can now see that we have a smart filter applied to the smart object layer. Now, if I click the eye symbol on the Smart Object Filter, we can toggle the effect on and off. So by first creating a Smart Object Layer and applying filters to that Smart Object Layer, we have achieved non-destructive editing. Perfect. Okay, so now we have the Mosaic effect. Let's apply the Dot effect. Now, to do this, we need to create a new document. So I'll press Command N to create a new document. Now this time, we need to make sure that the width is 50 pixels and the height is 50 pixels and the resolution remains 300. I'll press OK. So with the new document, like earlier, I'll come and double click on the background layer and I'll rename this layer to dot. So next, I'll come over and select the paint bucket tool. I'll make sure that the foreground color is set to black and I'll click into the canvas area to set the square to black, to fill it with black. So next, I'll come up to the Marquee Tools and select the Circle Marquee Tool. And I'm going to press and hold Alt on the keyboard here and scroll with my mouse just to zoom in. So with the Circle Marquee Tool, I'm going to click from the top left and drag down to the bottom right. What I need to do here is create a perfect circle within the square, touching the outside edge like so. If you do not get this right the first time, be sure to keep trying until you get something that looks just like this. Once you have your circle like so, press backspace on the keyboard to delete that space from the black square. Easy. So I'll press and hold Alt on the keyboard and scroll with my mouse to zoom out. And now we can see the black square with a circle cut out in the middle. Perfect. Now inside the circle, we can see the gray and white square texture. This is Photoshop telling us that this is transparent. This is exactly what we want here. Okay, so once you have your circle cut out of the square, come up to the main menu and click Edit. Then scroll down to Define Pattern. Upon click, up will pop the Pattern Name box. On this occasion, I will name this Black Circle 50 PX for 50 pixels. So this will tell us that this is a black circle and set to 50 pixels. And I'll just click OK. Now before we do anything else, I'm quickly going to come to the Layers panel here and double click on the dot black layer just right of the name and up will pop the layer styles. I'll come over to Color Overlay, I'll click this and over on the right I'll click on the color box and set this to white and click OK. So now we have a white square with a circle cut out. Next, I'll come back up to Edit, scroll down to Define Pattern and this time I'll name this to White Circle 50px and click OK. So once I have a pattern for both white and black, 
I'll come back to my Photoshop document I set up previously with the mosaic effect currently applied. So this time I'll come over into the Layers panel and double click on the Place Your Image Here layer, just right of the name, and up will pop the layer style. So this time I'm going to click on Pattern Overlay. Then from the Pattern Options, I'm going to choose the black circle pattern I just created and click OK. And just like that, we have the dot pixel effect applied. So here we have a combination of a layer style and filter applied. It's the mosaic effect that breaks the image into solid square pixels of color and the pattern overlay which fills in each square pixel of the mosaic to give the dot texture. Pretty simple. So we first created a canvas area to divide by 50, then we created a smart object layer, inserted our image into that smart object layer, applied the mosaic effect at 50 pixels, created our circle pattern to 50 pixels, and applied the pattern overlay using the layer styles. Now, I'll come back to the layer and double click to call up the layer styles again. If I click back on pattern overlay and change the black circle to the white circle, we can change the background effect pretty easily. So that's how you can create a dot pixel effect in Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you're wondering, how do I create a smaller dot pixel effect? Well, that can be done quite easy. If we come back to the circle square document we set up earlier, be sure to first save it as 50 pixels. Once saved, come up to image size. Now on this occasion, I'm going to change the size of the document to 25 by 25 pixels, keeping the resolution set to 300 and click OK. So this may not be 50 pixels this time, but 25 does divide by 50. So this will be OK. So I'll turn off the color overlay uh, layer style so it's back to black again. This time I'll come up to edit, define pattern and call this black circle 25 px. Once saved, I'll come back to the template we just set up. I'll double click on the smart filter mosaic. I'll change this to 25 and double click on the pattern overlay layer style and change the pattern overlay to the new 25 pixel circle we just created. And just like that, we have a smaller dot pixel effect. So as you can see, the size of the pattern goes hand in hand with the size of the mosaic effect applied. Now let's look at another example. So this time I'm going to keep my pattern set to the 25 pixels example, but this time click on the mosaic smart filter and I'll set this to 50 pixels. So the pattern is 25 and the mosaic is 50 and I'll click OK. Now this time we can see something a little different. We still have the dot pixel effect, but the color effect is slightly different. Instead of each circle pixel having its own color, they are now grouped into blocks of four. So to get various color effects, you can experiment with the pattern size and the mosaic filter effect. So that's how you can create a dot pixel effect in a non-destructive way in Adobe Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, you can download the templates you saw at the start of this tutorial. All links are in the description. Well, that's it for another video brought to you by Gareth here at tastycheats.com. Thanks for watching. Have fun, guys, and I'll see you next time.